everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the War with Joy. Uh, my name is Nemo Vori. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, for usual, if you like the video, like, like, like. If you want to show your friends, go ahead and do so. I do not mind at all. And finally, if you like to subscribe and join the Joy Squad, it has become a thing. The Joy Squad is a thing, okay? It's official. Please join and also click on the notifications bell so you're notified when a new video comes up, which is always every Tuesday or Thursday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. The best time zone to be in, well, because I'm here. If I move somewhere else, I'll, still, I'll probably call that place the best time. But yeah, um, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Um, and yeah, we finished off with the armor of God. And I feel like the next... The next thing, kind of like waiting in prayer. So the next thing is like prayer and fasting, right? Fun stuff. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. Um, so let us keep um, praying. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you and we come and ask that your spirit will be included in this discussion so that all the words that I speak will be exactly what needs to be said. And the hearer, including myself, will have the heart that will be... Um, able to receive and will be a good ground to grow this word and make it to become a great harvest in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll be talking about praying and fasting today. And I don't know if it's going to be two videos or one video. We'll see how we go. So uh, Matthew 17, 14 to, um, to 21. This story is about... When somebody brought um, their son to Jesus Christ, he was demon possessed and brought him and I was like, hey, your, your disciples, I brought him over and they were not able to do anything. So can you help? And then Jesus did. So Matthew 17, I'm going to go. Um, 14 to 21. Okay. And this is uh, New King James. And when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he's an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon. And it came out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to him privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief. For assuredly I say to you, If you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Verse 21, which is where I'm landing. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. That's kind of like where I'm focusing. It's like, this kind does not go out by, unless it's by prayer by, and fasting. This strong issue, this strong man right here, this really difficult situation, a crazy pattern of bondage, will not go out. Will be here unless you add prayer and fasting. So it's not just, oh, belief. And speak the word and have faith, which was saying, you know, unbelief did it. You guys don't have no faith. You mix your faith with unbelief. But it's like, listen, this one, faith needs to, you need to add prayer and fasting for this kind. So if you're in a this kind type of situation, you know what it is. You need to pray and fast. And that's what it is. Okay. Um, Matthew 6, 16, Jesus Christ again talks about fasting. Matthew 6, 16. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men, to men, to be fasting, but to your father, who is in secret, and your father, who is in secret, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. So, when he says, when you fast, uh, yeah, it means that like you're supposed to fast. It's not, yeah, if you decide to fast, if you want to go on a fast, it's like, when, when you fast. You So this is just Jesus Christ reiterating 
you're supposed to be fasting and because there are many this kinds going on in our lives and we're going to go into um we're going to use esther as an example of what's happening with this esther 4 so the backdrop of this story of course if you know the story from esther Haman was jealous and annoyed because mordecai was honored because of something he did for the king and he wanted it to be him and he was just like i just got to get rid of this guy he was just filled with rage and you know he was ready so in es esther 3 um verse 9 this is Haman now saying to the king and Haman said to king xerxes there is a certain people dispersed among the people in all the provinces of your kingdom who keep themselves separate which is good don't do like everybody else their customs are different from those of all your people and they do not obey the king's laws it is not in the king's best interest to tolerate them if it pleases the king let a decree be issued to destroy them that just sounds weird they're not following the king's word. Why they wanted to just say, we're going to issue a decree that they, they have to. Let's now teach them how to follow the king. No, it's like, he just jumped. He's like, let us just destroy them. And I will give 10,000 talents of silver to the king's administration for the royal treasury. So the king took the signet ring from his finger and gave it to Haman, son of Hamet, Data, the Agatite, the enemy of the Jews. Enemy. Enemy of the Jews. Guys, remember when we talked about the enemy? And how he's like a roaring around, like looking for who's on destroy. And he has like schemes. We should not be unaware of the schemes and the plans of the enemy. Like this is it right here. Remember um, the, the, the thief comes but to steal, to kill and destroy. He's like, let us destroy them. He just even jumped from stealing and killing. It's like, let's just destroy these people. That was his plan. All right. So Mordecai heard about this and he put on sackcloth. Like we talked about how the fasting. He's just like, because that's what they did back then. They put ashes in their head. They put sackcloth. They did all that. And it was like, I am begging and crying and pleading to God, you know. Um, and it says in so Esther 4. Yeah. You know what? Let's go. Esther 4, 3. In every province to which the edicts and order of the king came, there was a great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing. Many lay in sackcloth and ashes. So this is the beginning of like what's going to happen for their deliverance. I know we always talk about Esther. She was like, if I perish, I perish. And she goes into the king and all that. But look, before she even did that, the Jews were already mobilized to fast. They were fasting. They were weeping. They were mourning and crying and begging God for this deliverance from this kind. There was a, this kind coming, coming to destroy them, coming to attack them, coming to annihilate them. And they started fasting already just to see, you know, just to kind of, let god know and to bring to pass a deliverance it's like we just have to fast there's no we don't have any other tool but it was the greatest tool it is actually the greatest tool um so verse so mardika i'm just kind of skipping around mardika went over and tried to let her know look something's happening you need to go to the king and talk to the king for us and she was like oh you know we never go to the king directly you'll be killed is a law and all of that and Mordecai said to her in verse 13, do not think that because you are in the king's house, you alone of all the Jews will escape. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. He was so confident, like, like girlfriend, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. God will answer us. But you and your father's family will perish and who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went away and carried out all of Esther's instructions. So she's like, ah. Fine, I hear you, I hear you. You know what? You guys are mourning. You guys are crying. I'm going to join and I'm going to declare fast. Nobody eat or drink for three days. And um, listen, I've done that kind of fast before. It's not easy. It's not easy. But you should train yourself. Let your body just be subjected to the spirit. You know what I mean? Like sometimes just be like, no, we're not eating. Just stop, stop that. Even if you're cooking for the kids, whatever, you can pull out that fast if you want to truly get that deliverance that you're looking for. Remember what Jesus Christ said. This kind does not go out but by prayer and fasting. So here we're going to go. I know the time is up. How did that happen? Um, but we're going to go in the next video into when they fasted and all the things that were happening. You definitely don't want to miss that so that you can get encouraged and then you can fast too and, you know, hold that this kind and be like, I got you. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do with you right now. This kind 
pray and fast. I'm not going to tell you it has to be a day or two days or three days or 10 days. However you can um, endure. But definitely try to stretch yourself. Don't do something easy. Try to stretch so that your body will know that we are really on the sub subjection right now. We are going through this. We are sacrificing this so that we can get the this kind out of here. All right. So, yeah watch the next video we're going to finish off on this one watch the next video all right god bless you thanks for tuning in i'll see you next time and this has been the word with joy my name is nemo boring take care bye